Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Larry, Larry Fountain Pins, and I'll be your host, and I'll be talking about some pin cases that I have purchased from a gentleman named Mike in India, all handmade, right? Okay. And they are really, really some very nice pin cases that Mike makes by hand. Real leather at a really affordable price. And you can find how to get in touch with him and look at all uh, his leather cases and order them if you like below. There's a link. Thank you. Ta da To his website. Ta da I was waiting for Mr. Nancy to kind of get in. So, and here we go. Let me show you this pin case. It looks kind of like a burgundy color, would you say? Yes. Nice, soft leather. Feels nice to the touch. I really do like that. And this pin pouch is made from sheepskin. And it can take up to four jumbo pins. Let's say like four 149 Mont Blancs. And it has a flat cover, and that will close with a magnetic flap, just like that. Even across those big jumbo, nice, beautiful 149s, if you had four in here. And the magnet has been working really great. The whole pin case I've used, I have pins in it continuously and I carry them with me. In fact, I've been carrying a whole bunch of pins lately because of these pin cases to check out how good they are. And they are that good and better. And, uh, on the closure of this pin case, it is done where it will not only just fit over if you have big jumbo pins in, but it will secure firmly and will stay in place and will protect your pins. So it's a, it's a strong, firm magnet inside. The flap and then in the pin case itself. Here's the magnet and over here's the magnet. So inside the pin case, let's look inside the best we can. I have some uh, Jin Hao pins in here, the 450s and uh, 159s. Uh, they do have some fabric separators inside. So, when you get this pin case, they're going to be folded down. So, you know, all you got to do is just fold it back upright, put your pin in, and you're good to go. Four jumbo pins. So, let me just take some of these out. And there's a nice jumbo pin. Beautiful pin. Mr. Announcer got that for me, what, about four or five years ago? Mm -hmm. Maybe six. And there's one here. And here's one here. So inside, if you can see, Mr. Announcer trying to get a real good close-up of that. Can they see it pretty good? Yes. That's what they look like inside, the separators. And they do work to keep your pins perfectly safe from rubbing up against each other. They're secure, and they're not going to scratch. And these pins have proven that so. So that's true. And I'm putting them in between the separators and they are working just fine. They're in flat poses. Now the stitching is very nicely done. As you can see around the pin case. This is the back of it. Look at the stitching. Really nice. And then on the flap as you can see it here. 
Again, really nicely done. And on the front as well, I want to show you all I can about these pin cases. Here's the bottom of the pin case, what it looks like. And the side and the other side and the back of the pin case. Really, folks, an affordable, wealth, well-worthy pin case. These pin pouches are not manufactured widely for commercial use. Mike says he just makes a few for his own retail selling. So that's cool. And Mike says that the pin pouches is more suitable for users who carry fewer pins. Fewer number of costly pins in this very soft leather texture will protect your pins. And he is so correct. It has taken me a while to put this video together because I want to make sure that the pin cases will hold up to what they're supposed to so I won't mislead anybody and I'm not. The pin case is really nice. Now this pin case is a giveaway. No, I can't keep it. You know, I, I bought one that I will be showing you next. Uh, and the one I bought was $20. <laughs> Great price. You know, I couldn't believe a real handmade leather, authentic leather pin case for 20 bucks. And I've been looking at it for some time, so I bit the bullet and bought it. And so Mike sent me a few others for giveaway. And here's the other, uh, the roll-up cool pouch. Uh, so these will be giveaways. So there you have it. So, and this is a genuine soft leather pouch for four pins with separators. And there's more to come. Next. On the journey with pin cases. Now, the pin cases that you see, a couple of these are going to be giveaways. A special thank you to Mike, the gentleman in India that makes these can, uh, pin cases individually by hand. So he doesn't make a whole lot up at one time. He makes a few, then he sells them, then he makes others. So here's one that I bought from him. This is the pin case I bought from him. I think I paid $20, $22, I forgot. But the site will be listed in the description box where you can go right to uh, his website and you can look at all these pin cases that I am showing you. Okay, This is a really cool, unique pin case. And I have been looking at it for some time and I'm wondering, will this fit my needs? Is it really nice leather? Is it going to be soft? Is it going to protect my pins, etc., etc.? Well, the, the pin case that you're seeing right here uh, is made of cow leather. And it has a special texture stamping on the, in the leather. It's really nice. It's really soft. And this pin case can accept almost, not almost, 10 pins. You stuff it depending on the size, okay? If you're stuffing metal or resin pin uh, barrels in this pin case, you will need to use pin sleeves, and I will show you that here in a second. And very standard, that's to protect the pins from banging up against each other and, you know, putting scratches and marks and, on your pins, which we don't like to mess up our pins, but it depends. If there's just some pins that are tossed around, then you don't have to do that. It's up to you. But uh, it will hold five pins, sleeves not needed. If the storing is less number of pins, like five pins, sleeves are not needed. So,
this has three pockets three extra pockets here's one on the front which I keep my business cards in right there boom okay that's handy I like that that's really cool then on the back number two which I keep my letter opener in or you can keep a small notebook in there if you want or whatever your imagination comes to be you can put it there it's got a nice snap secure clip on it that way like when you on the flip flop boom there it is works great I've been using this every day and then inside is number three and I keep a stylus in there or I may put pins in there whatever I feel like I've been changed it around I don't know how many times so here's what I have in here I have a Jinhao 159 Jumbo I have a double pin case with my Visconti Homo Sapien lava pin and my new Visconti Homo Sapien Magna Mag Magna Magma Magma ma, 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 ma. beautiful pin and last but not least my Memento Leonardo Memento Hawaiian blue beautiful pin I keep all these four pins in here and it does a great job nice soft smooth letter and you know you can put credit cards in here as well or uh, your bank cards credit cards they will all hold all together very compact and you have it all there in front of you uh, at one time this pin case was not accepting longer cap crowns uh, cap crowns but now that he has modified it to accept pins with longer crowns so that's cool okay so let me just check out one thing while we're doing this let me put in here my pilot explorer because that's a is that going to be any longer than this one? No, it won't. But just for the heck of it, you can put it in there like that. Or if you want to clip it, you can clip it on. I usually just put them in there and go on with it. But, you know, this a pin case. I'm glad I got it. It really is nice. It does the job. It keeps all my pins secure. Uh, I use it every day and I I've been making sure that it's going to do the job so it's been taking me a while to get this video done because I want to make sure each pin case will hold up and that it's going to stand up to the pins and everyday use and uh, my torture <laughs> because you know I'm not all easy with pin cases but you know I, no I'm not brutal with them I take care of my stuff but I just want to make sure that the pin cases are going to live up to par because your folks will determine are they worthy or not for you to buy them for me I say thumbs up yes they are now last but not least this is the last one I want to show you and now this one is pretty cool because you can do a number of things with it uh, let me get my little notes here this is the pin roll and let me tell you it is a really nice soft leather and they're individually checked each one by Mike and the leather that they use it's premium processed leather of camel and they only make a few pieces 
Okay, so, and that also is depends on the skin availability. And let's open her up. The roll up has one wide pocket, and you can store 12 jumbo pins. So here's how I have mine done, okay? I have a notepad in there just to show you. You don't have to have that in there. You can put pins in there if you want. And you can fill up this whole pouch with pins. And I have my, I'll just pull them out. That's your point. A highlighter. Paris Custom. Another highlighter. My Lamy Studio. My Lamy Safari. Marker. A pencil. My Paper Mate pen. And my Paper Mate gel pen. And my other pen. Uh, now this one I want to show you because this is a, this one it's a bit thicker. And this was uh, I just want to be honest with you. It will hold the other pens as you see. But if it's a real girthy pen like this, you're going to have problems with it to get it out, as you saw I did. But I'm thinking after you keep your pins that have this kind of girth in it and this leather is going to soften up and it's in time it's going to open up so it will be able to handle this size of pen which it does now but I'm not going to edit this I'll let you see that I did have some difficulty to get the pen out but that's okay for me I'm okay with that because my pen is safe secure and I know over time that this leather is going to expand some after I have this pin in this sleeve. Now let's look at the pin case. Take everything else out. Remember, you can fill it all up. Let me show you the picture right here. It fills up. And I'll turn it both side out. There you go. That's how he has all these pins in there and rolled up. You can do that way. Me, I'm creative. I like to do... Whatever hits me, okay? So, look at the stitching in this pin case. Really is nice stitching. He done a magnificent job by hand. Look at this. Really nice. I do like the color of the stitching. It matches. It goes well. It matches well with the uh, pin case. Really nice. I do like the other uh, compartment here. Uh, now, these... I'm thinking in time will expand, but I showed you what I carried in there, right? Uh, what? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven pins. And you can carry way more than that. Now, if I didn't carry the memo pad, it would lay more flat, as you see there. So, there you have it. Uh, Great pin roll. Look up his website. It's in the description box. And let them know that Larry's Fountain Pins is where you got this information. You're going to love the pin cases. He does quality work. So, there you have it. That's all three of them. Mr. Announcer? Yes. So, it took me a while to put them all together. I wanted to make triple sure that the pin cases were going to live up to what they need to carry, what they're going to be used for. And it did. It, it worked extremely well. Uh, you know, I really want to thank Mike for sending me these pin cases. And these are giveaway. This one and the other one that I showed you. And uh, 
I will be doing a review this year. I mean a giveaway this year, I'm sorry. Uh, with this pen case. And you see how nice and flat it lays out. And you can get the same kind of uh, flatness depending on the, what you put in here. Do you like to stuff a lot of things in your uh, pin rolls? This will handle it. So, there you have it. Pin cases. The one I purchased. This is the one that Mike's in. And here is the other one. And it does have pins in it. Magnetic plates. Boom. One, two, and then the one I bought. Three. Got it. Giveaways coming up. Stay tuned for that. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Hey, thanks for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pins. And I'm introducing the leather, real leather pin cases and pin rolls from India, from gentleman Nate Mike. Makes them by hand. Really feels nice. They look great. They feel great. And they work very well. So that's all there is to it. Again, if you want to get a hold of the gentleman who makes these, the, the, in the description box below, below, go to that website and you will pull up all these pin cases and pin rolls and all the cool stuff. And uh, you can order them. Very, very, very affordable leather pin cases. Well worth the money, I think. I'm pleased. I'm happy with them. I hate to give these away. <laughs> Wish I didn't have to. I would be using these right now. So, nice, soft leather. And this will have a nice patine. Well, after you use it a while, and it'll fit your personality, and you'll bond with them. Yeah. That's a good word. Bonding with your pin roll. Bonding with your pin case. No, you can't have this one. This is mine. I bought it. Hey, thanks for joining me today on the pin cases. It's all about handmade pin cases from India. Again, last time I'm going to say this. The website is below. Check it out. Go to the gentleman's website. See if there's anything there that would be interesting to you. And that's all there is to it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me some thumbs up. Hit that like button. It helps a lot. And last but not least, don't forget that little bell. Hit that little bell. I'll notify you when I do another video. I'm done. So, I've got to get out of here. I've got a lot of things to do. I've got to clean up this pin room again. I don't know how many times. I've done this, but it's like a never-ending process. God bless, everybody. Have a great day, and I hope you had fun with me. Wow! <laughs> Until my next video, Dynamite, baby. Check it out. Rock and roll. Be cool. Don't text and drive. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>